Welcome to the Watani Grasslands Reserve, the North Carolina Zoo's representation of the expansive grasslands of Africa and one of the largest single exhibits to be found at any zoo in the country. At 40 acres, Watani is home to a herd of southern white rhinos as well as seven different species of antelope. One of the newest additions to the antelope collection is several greater kudus. Keeper Tamara Norton tells us more about the youngsters and greater kudus in the wild. We've had three kudus um, born this year, one three months ago, one um, one month ago, and one just yesterday. Kudus are found in the southern and eastern part of Africa. They really like the dense forests. They do try to stay away from the open plains due to predators. You'll actually find them in herds of about 25, mainly females and their calves. The males will tend to be solitary. Sometimes you'll do see them in the bachelor herd. Here at the North Carolina Zoo in the Watani Grasslands, we are trying to represent Africa. It's just a little miniature version. We do have the open plains and the um, forest edge where we have different species. We have the browsers and the grazers. The exhibit's about 38 acres large, so the animals can graze as normal and wallow and run. Well, the greater kudu at the North Carolina Zoo, they have these amazing large ears. One benefit of the large ears is the sensitivity of hearing for them to hear the predators come up so they can bolt them if necessary. And another benefit of the large ears is to expel heat. With this expansive and picturesque setting and so many beautiful animals on display, little wonder the Watani grasslands is a favorite with zoo visitors. If you'd like to learn more, check out our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.